Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the Game of Former part where they did the cover story. There's some things, there's some new things in there that wasn't the Game of Former stuff, but but a lot of it was, was stuff they already seen. And there's a gameplay 44 minute video out there from Game of Former where they went into sport, like they actually did some heavy spoilers. So I don't want to bring that up. So you know, f for the sake of you know, I don't. You know, for the sake of those who don't want to, who wants to go in as blind as possible, so I am doing that for you. And as much as I want to make more content for you guys, I still will, but it's for the sake of also me wanting uh, to keep some things a secret for myself. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the first mission takes place on a warship called Capricorn. Uh, calibrating controls like where, you know, you look up and down first to calibrate, like where you, when you look and all that, so those are back, like the, like the bungee days. The game starts with a back to basics. Staten referred to it as a fulfillment of the vision that Bungie had set 20 years ago. Is obviously a spiritual successor to Combat Evolved. The reason for no Prometheans, because it wouldn't make sense with 3 for 3's goals for evident by, foca by focusing on, you know, what CE did, which was like, you know, the Covenant, aka the Banished, and it seems some more, some, you know, some other type of living thing on the ring as well, as they mentioned before. I've already talked about that before. Uh, skirmishers are back in the game, so, and here they are. Not gonna lie, that was, that was a pleasant surprise, so uh, I'm, I'm very happy to see that they're back. So, it should be interesting to see how, you know, they, how, you know, if they behave any similar to Halo Reach, but we'll see. We'll see how that works. And here's the cover story, uh, here's the covers for, for the magazine if you're interested. You can buy each of them. You could buy each of them separately for, but you could buy one sep buy it separately for four ninety nine, or you could just subscribe to Game Informer like fifteen twenty bucks a year, whatever you may choose. Anyway, moving on. Back, back to the topic at hand. Four ammo types: kinetic, plasma, shock, and hard light, and each of them have their own ammo crates. So be sure to stock up on ammo as you go. Halo Infinite was built with the full expectations that many players would want to be curious and go explore the open world, which is being compared to games like like the Batman Arkham, Arkham games, like I've mentioned before. High value targets are many bosses, take it out, and its menus, and it unlocks a unique weapon spawnable back at the FOBs. And once you get once you do that, uh, some examples are like an energy sword that hits harder or a needler that that has better tracking. So, elites will activate shields when entering in combat. 2020, 2020 demo area still is still in the game, but clearly with the impressive premise the delay came with. Three for three hopes that infinite brings the hope and heroes and that brings people together that Halo is so much known for. When Satan joined three for three last year, much of the formative development was already done, and it's been a grueling development like the last two years for the, for the team. So, which I'm sure there was, I'm sure it was. And as we know, Satan is helping lead the team ter toward a longer-term goal. The the ultimate goal of Halo Infinite is, in its grander ambitions is to relaunch the franchise in 2021 and rediscover what made CE so special, while while hoping that new players will stick around after they pick up the game, whether it's through its multiplayer, and if they like and they feel the multiplayer is so special, Three for Three is hoping they will stick around for the single-player campaign as well. Okay, well that's it for the, that's for the Game of article. Now let's let's, let's discuss it. Uh, like I said before, there's a, like a 44-minute video. If you want to go, if you don't care for spoilers, you can go find it. I'll link it in the description so you can watch it for yourself. But I'm not covering it, like I said, like I said before, because I don't, because there's pretty big spoilers in there. So I guess we could talk about. I guess we'll do like a little breakdown. You know. Notice some things that I saw in the IGN video now, I guess. So, hmm. Hmm. Huh. Yep. As we know now, yeah. Hmm, that's the Hydra. Oh, now we know what he lost. He said, we lost. We lost everything. And I love how the pilot, like, how Chief is like, I need a weapon. He gets a pistol with one bullet. That's what, no, no, there's, hmm. Seems like that's the main objective. So, hmm. Oh, there's Infinity. Apparently, apparently they're saying, according to Game Informer, I forgot to mention this, that apparently Infinity is either, 
either crashed or it's destroyed. One of the two, the details on that is not exactly uh, being specific on that. So I'm not too sure. I guess we'll see when the we'll see when the when the game comes out. You know, in a few weeks. So, so the yeah, so the weapon is kind of similar. Actually, like she'll just like sway. Like she's very naive and like she only she her she only heard the bench like like an hour ago at one point. She mentioned so she's very much in the dark about what's going on. As, as Chief knows, like it, it seems like Chief doesn't know much. Like doesn't kind of explain Cortana's actions, or he just doesn't remember. Like, you know, like what happened here? That's definitely a big mystery the team is going for. You now, the game takes place roughly eighteen months, so about a year and a half after the events of Halo Five. So that explains, you know, the whole big time gap. So I know they're saying that's not open world, but the map, based on that image, is so huge though. It's still pretty big. So, hmm. Hmm, there's a Mangler. Yeah, Mangler, yeah. Which, that thing looks pretty powerful. I like this right here. So, I don't mind the model of Cortana on this. I don't mind. It looked like that was probably, you know, when you first see her. So, you know, for the first time. Boom. Hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, there's Discover Hope again. There it is. Hmm. Man, like... Pfft. So it's... Pfft. Oh. Oh, it looks like villain perspectives are back. I wonder what they're arguing about. Dissension within the Banish, maybe? Only time will tell. Man, I love this shot right here. I love it, man. Like, dang. Oh, and... Hmm. There's the Bulldog. Oh! Blood splatters are back. There's Estrum. Hmm. You know, on hologram form, so... There we go. Oh. Dude. Dude, I love this scene right here. Like, like where it's like Chief is alone. Like, he's where he's truly alone. It's almost like he's like, you know... This is the match Chief without Cortana, so... Man. Pretty surreal. Hmm. And looks like this is probably right after you retrieve the weapon. Oh, hmm. Oh, like the weapon changes. Notice that it was the stalker rifle in that scene. Hmm. I have a feeling this is where you first meet uh, Estra. Oh, there goes the Cortana thing again. I think that's before CE where you first meet Cortana. Which, I think it's cool they're showing that in-game, you know, that's really cool. So, cause you know, cause that was always detailed in, like, books and all that. Uh, oh, man. Oh, boy. Long story there. Ooh. Oh, we've seen this before. I, this is pro I think this is probably in that same shit, probably. Oh, he's down. Man, the Euler is so OP, it's ridiculous. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> well, though. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clear. Like, she, she's pretty much in the dark. So. Very much in the dark on how that all that works. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, you can see we're taking a closer look. Ooh. I kind of like, I, like, that was pretty interesting that they had that mechanic in. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Like I was kind of hoping that the uh, nighttime is more dark, but hey, maybe over time it is. Maybe. Oh, there's the elite. Oh. Yeah. See, this is kind of what I mean. Like the. Even though they're saying it's not open world, it very much is. You know, in their in you know in its way. So in how it's structured and all that, which I said. So, like I said, it's like the Arkham series, which I love that series, so that's how I'm happy to hear that. Man. Ooh. Ah. Whack. Ah. Ah, there's your audio log. Ah, so I like that the audio logs are like little data pads on the ground. That's really cool. Really neat. 
Hmm. Oh, nice. Shock coil. Oh. Not only shock coils, they're... Ah, okay. That's pretty neat. Uh, three for three calls those noob cubes, which is pretty hilarious. Nice there. Three for three. Ah, that's how you save the Marines. Obviously, they're very happy to see Chief. Oh, taking over another base, probably. Yep. Taking another base back. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, <laughs> just like that. So it seems that, like, she's, like, I wonder if she's restricted in terms of what she could do as an AI. Concerning that she's, like, she doesn't know much, like, as much as we do. Like, she's clear in the dark about the banners like we are. So, it's going to be interesting to see how... She, oh, little gophers. Uh, that was pretty cool. That was in the multiplayer, too. Yeah, see? Because in the flight, it was the shock coils. But here, it's, you know, it's actual explosives. Like a typical fusion coil. I think that was a, maybe that was an easter egg, like, New Alexandria from Halo Reach, I think. Which, that was pretty dope. Oh, there's a scanner. See, like, where you can actually find stuff. Limited range, though. Man, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first mission of the game. This part, I believe, is. Oh. Is that... I'm not sure if that was, like, the same... Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Oh, tools of the... Tr Here we go. Dang. Just look at this. <laughs> we can just mow down... Mow down the hills, man. And explore. Oh, man, I can't wait to explore this. Man. Hmm. Oh! There we go. Boom. Love it. Look at him, look at him just walking around like that. I think that's a glitch. Ooh, it took his helmet off. There you go. Oh, here's the multiplayer. Streets. I thought the map was pretty cool. Neat, that has like an arcade in there. That was pretty dang cool. Oh, there's the disruptor they talked about before. So, yeah, so it's like, I guess it's a uh, pistol, you know, a shock pistol. Hmm. Shield cores. Huh. Huh, I was not expecting, like, where you can upgrade your shields. That would, that's definitely going to come in handy, especially on Legendary. Spawn cores. Mjolnir components. Yep. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, looks like the classic reticle on the on turrets are back. Huh. Not sure if that was a thing in the flights or not. But I don't think wait, were detachable turrets in the flight? I think there was, but not like it matters, but so it so it's noted once again that boss battles, you know, in the first few hours, man. So I'm looking forward to seeing the big difference between the uh twenty twenty demo from last year to it now. Can't wait for that when the game comes out. Hmm. It, se it seems like each like main mission was like 30 minutes to a half an hour. So I kind of missed that, so... Oh. Wow. Oh, yep. Hmm. They... Ow. Hmm. Nothing to see. Nothing too much here, but... Oh! Bail. Oh, that that's going to be awesome. Oh, the grapple shot is so good. Hmm. Oh, fear. Is that? Oh, no, that's the plasma pistol. Hmm. Those little purple ones. Oh, boss battle. Oh, it's a Tremendous dude. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's about to die. I'm pretty sure Chief is going to... The player's going to kill him there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, uh, I see what they're saying. Huh. 
That's... Whoa. Is that, har like, hard light? Is that hard light? Like, after... S in, in conclusion, after saying all this new game... New Oops, see, right there. Hold on. Let me, let me go back. Wait for it. Right there. That's what I was talking about earlier with the elites. Activating the shields in combat. That's what I was referring to. Ooh. Huh. Oh, wow. Damn. I wonder if they made it seem longer now, so. What is this? Wait a second. What if, what if, hear me out. What if this is that uh, audio lock we heard Secret audio log we heard in Discover Hope two years ago. Hmm. I wonder. Oh. Okay, I, I guess to wrap things up. After seeing all this new footage, I'm definitely sold on the I'm definitely sold more sold on the campaign than I already was, so. Anyway, what do you think of all the all this new news of over the last like twenty four hours? So let me know what you, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you like this video, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you.